What's up guys and welcome back to Morning. If you guys are new here, then what is up? My name is Erica. Hey, how you doing? And if you are into the history of the ancient Greeks and the Romans, maybe you're just into the mythology, maybe you just accidentally stumbled across my Instagram account and you were like, what the hell is this girl talking about? And I say that because my Instagram account is popping, guys. I've decided to do this whole like makeup and mythology type series where I do these crazy makeup looks and then just like explain a little myth underneath it. And people seem to be loving it. So if you're not here for that reason, um, go check it out. But if you are here for that reason, then you're in the right place because I'm explaining all of that stuff that I talk about on my Instagram. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you know every single time I post in the future. But as you can see from the title of today's video, we are still on our women's only series. That was not part of the plan, by the way. <laughs> I only planned for there to be about five episodes of this series, and yet here we are because I keep being like, oh, I could discuss this person, and this person, and this person, and today we're discussing the Amazonian queen that is Penthesilea. So let's start this by saying that this episode was supposed to come out like three weeks ago. <laughs> oh God. So I had done an episode on Camilla, you guys are gonna wanna watch that episode after this, and in that episode I described a lot of Amazonian references that Camilla gives off in Virgil's Aeneid. And then I never put up the episode about the Amazonian, the Amazonian? <laughs> the Amazonian even. The Amazonian queen who Virgil takes the descriptions from. So I feel like that episode standing alone made absolutely no sense. And I was like, where, why, how did I forget to talk about Penthesilea? So here we are. That's why we're going to talk about her. So Penthesilea, like I just said, Amazonian queen, but you probably might not know who the Amazons are. It's, it's really funny to me that people don't know who the Amazons are because I feel like women who study antiquity, like myself, we focus a lot on the Amazons because the Amazons were an army of women in ancient Greece. That's incredible, okay? So in Greek mythology, there was a whole race of just women who basically kicked men's ass like the entire time. Like that's, that's all they did and people were terrified of them. Like I don't want anyone to think, oh, there was like an army of women that the, the Greek men would like make fun of in writing or whatever it is. No, 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 absolutely not. They were scared. Every single mythological man is like, mm, the Amazons are showing up. I think I'm just gonna go and sit over there and just like call it a day. Like none of them wanted to deal with them, which is why when Camilla basically embodies the same thing, that's why all the men have the same reaction to Camilla in Virgil's Aeneid. But we're talking about Penthesilea today, but you're gonna wanna watch this in conjunction to the Camilla episode. It will make a lot more sense. Now I've been saying that Penthesilea is the queen of the Amazons. You're probably like, wasn't there another queen of the Amazons? If you're familiar with the Amazons, you're probably like, there was definitely someone like Hippo or something. Yes, you'd be right. There was an original Amazonian queen called Hippolyte or Hippolyta, depending on the syllables and like the sentence and the meter and all that kind of jazz. One or the other is both the same person, but she was the original queen of the Amazons and Penthesilea killed her. Whether it's by accident or on purpose, we actually don't know according to the ancient source material. Now we know the situation though, and the situation was that Theseus, <laughs> such a f***ing problem, I hate him. You all know that if you watch this channel. I hate a couple of men, he's one of them. He ends up like marrying this random girl after he is hooked up with Hippolyte. So obviously Hippolyte not really thrilled by this and she ends up storming the wedding with all of the Amazons and obviously Theseus and Phydra, who's the girl that he was trying to marry. Everybody's like, um, what the hell is going on? And so they try and like basically just cause havoc, the whole thing and Penthesilea kills Hippolyte there. Now, once again, we don't actually have the source, the original source of this whole thing. So we don't know if it was on purpose or by accident because lots of then authors will change it. Some of them will have it that it was on purpose because she wanted to succeed the throne, not the literal throne, but like the, the figurative throne, right? Of being queen. And then some people are like, oh no, it was totally by accident. Like she was trying to kill somebody else at the wedding and then she ends up killing Hippolyte. So we don't actually know, but she ends up killing her. Right, that's the whole point of the myth. She kills Hippolyte and then she feels so bad in the majority of the myth, she feels so bad for doing it that she then has to go and get purified for this whole thing. She's like, if I'm gonna rule, if I'm gonna be queen, the gods aren't really gonna like it if I'm just like running around having killed the original queen and succeeding her that way. And I'm probably then gonna get killed and it's gonna start a whole chain of events and it's, it won't be good. So she goes to get purified by this guy called Priam, who's the king of Troy around the time of the Trojan War. This is all happening around the time of the Trojan War, by the way. So she goes to King Priam and she's like, help me. And King Priam was like, yeah, of course I'll help you. So long as the payment being that if we are in battle at some point and we need you to come and help us, that you will show up, basically is what he says. He doesn't take physical payment from her, he just takes her word and she's like, yeah, dude, I don't really care. I need you to purify this thing for me so I can go and like rule the Amazons and be a boss ass. So he does a thing and she then leaves. Now, let me just say this is a very, a very smart thing for him to do because as I've been saying, everybody was terrified of the Amazons and if you are in battle, you want them on your side. So the fact that he took that and he took her word, she's now bound to it, okay? So she has to do it. 
And he does end up calling on them at the end of the Trojan War. That they do fight a lot of it by themselves. And then at some point in the Trojan War, uh, Priam was like, this is getting out of control. So we have to call, why is my hair doing this? Sorry, we have to call Penthesilea. So he ends up, I don't know how, but they end up calling Penthesilea and then she comes to fight for them on their side. Now, before you guys go looking for this in the Iliad, it is not there. So here's the frustrating thing about studying the ancient world is that we have references to Penthesilea and the Amazons coming in to the Trojan War and basically helping right at the end, even though the Trojans still end up losing. But we do have this reference that sort of pops up in a lot of different places. And we know that that's sort of Penthesilea's claim to fame is when she leads the Amazons into the Trojan War. But we don't have this. We don't have the book that it pops up in. And that's because this is an epic, right? So the Iliad is an epic poem. The book that Penthesilea pops up in is an epic poem. And unfortunately, of that epic poem cycle, of which we think there were like nine books in the epic poem cycle, we have three of them. None of which include the Amazons coming for the Trojan War. So it's unfortunate, but we know that it exists and it's in the same book we think is where Achilles' death is. So that also doesn't happen in the Iliad, by the way. But we think that those two things happened in the same book. And we apparently in this book get a showdown between Penthesilea and Achilles because Achilles is the guy who ends up killing her in the Trojan War on the site. And it's just, it sounds like it would be so incredible. And I think it's so important to note that because the fact that Penthesilea led all of the Amazons in, like literally led them all in on their horses, people were probably running scared. And then Achilles is the only person who could get close enough to her to kill her. Like that to me is just so cool. And like, it's just, it shows you how powerful that she was that only the son of a God, a minor God at that, but only the son of a God could get close enough to her to kill her. And she was that skilled. And I'm like, what a boss obsessed. So that's her very basic sort of like overarching point of who the hell Penthesilea is. Now, back to the whole Camilla thing, because I've been referencing Camilla at the beginning of this video. Camilla is basically just copy and pasted Penthesilea. And it's down to like the very basic details of even like Penthesilea's weapon, like her weapon of choice when she goes into battle is a double headed ax which is exactly what Camilla uses. This whole thing as well of like, everybody running in fear from Camilla, everybody ran in fear from Penthesilea. There are lots of other little things. I will be here all day if I'm referencing all of them. So you're gonna wanna check out our website, which is www.moaninc.co.uk. Do not go on to www.moaninc.com. That is not me. Don't do it. .co.uk is me and I have all of the sources because, because we don't have that big book, right? We don't have one of the epics. We kind of take all of Penthesilea's little like, quips from other writers. So it pops up in like a million and five different places, which is annoying. And I couldn't sit here and just have like on my table, all of my books. Those are not all of Penthesilea's books, mind you. Those are just random books. But I couldn't just sit here with all my books and pick them up and read them like I do in my other episodes because I would be here all day trying to find one line here and one line there and one line there. So instead I've just compiled them all for you and put them onto our website. I just like to make it easy like that. But literally the same character and Penthesilea is a boss, okay? The Amazons are boss queens. They are all warrior maidens. They are just absolutely incredible and they do not get enough screen time anywhere. Like I don't know why more people in like the regular world, not like antiquity, are not screaming about the fact that the Amazons existed, okay? The Amazons are cool as hell. Penthesilea is cool as hell. And that is all I really have to say about her. I know that was like really anticlimactic. I got like really caught up there and then I was just like, oh wait, that's, <laughs> that's totally everything I have to say about Penthesilea. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning into this episode. But before you go, I actually have a really fun, really fun little housekeeping note for you. That I have these really cool fun t-shirts. I don't know if you can see, oh, look, here we go. I have Achilles on my t-shirt as well. So I have these really fun mythological t-shirts and they are actually made by this company called Quill and Thread, which I'm an ambassador of, which is so exciting. So I'm an ambassador of this company and it means that I get a little code, which is Moaning10, and you guys can go and use it on the site. And I would really appreciate it if you did, because that means that when you guys use the code, your gal here gets paid, which is amazing because it means that I won't have to work behind a bar serving old men beer for the rest of my life. So please go and check out quillandthread.com. I have all of the links in the description below and my code again down there. See if you like any of the t-shirts and then we can match. And I want you guys to tag me on Instagram if you guys have the same t-shirt as me because it would be so cute. So yeah, please support me. Please support my channel. Please help me not be a barmaid for the rest of my life. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll be seeing you next time with more ladies, probably more ladies here on the channel. So see you then.